kahalata eh. Pagtingin ko pa lang sa, pagpasok ko pa lang dito sa StreamYard, kita ko, ay, nakahanda na. <laughs> Ready to go na. <laughs> yes, kailangan punctual tayo. <laughs> kita ko nga eh, aba, na well prepared. Tapos na-check ko ang audio mo, it's so good. Camera mo, it's good. Tapos nandyan na ang outline mo, nagbabasa ka na ng outline mo. Ako, aba, when hindi, hindi kailangan i-briefing ito. In any case, <laughs> Uh, if in case we encounter some problems, um, mag just leave the studio and then come back. Okay. You know, yeah? Ganun din ang gagawin ko kung sakasakaling may problema. Do not panic. Kung in the middle of nagsasalita ka or nagsasalita ako tapos suddenly may nangyari, I will just leave and then come back as soon as I can. Okay. Right? Yeah. If ever this is, this, I know this episode is all about you. So, basta dada ka na lang ng dada ng dada. I'll take advantage of the time. I will take a little bit of time na mag-advertise din. And it's part of the program. And during the time, you can take a break, take a sip of water, you know, mag-snacks ka kung gusto mo. I also encourage that. Dahil wala naman tayo sa job interview eh. Di ba? <laughs> <laughs> Yung job interview nga sa Upwork, five minutes lang. <laughs> Ay, oo. Oh, uh, sa Upwork, eh, parang saglit-saglit lang. Alam mo yung nakakainis yung ganun yung pinaghandaan mo ng husto, nagdamit-damit ka pa, pinansya mo pa ang damit mo, tapos pagpasok mo doon, eh, ganun lang. <laughs> tapos hindi pala video, call lang. Oo, oh, oh, doon sa, sino ba? Nagalit kaya ako doon, yung, oo, oh, nirequire nilang may video-video daw, tapos samantalang sila, uh, walang video. Hindi sila video. nakaka-video. Ay, nagbigay ako ng feedback doon. Ah, practice what you preach. nag i strict kayo. Di ginagaya lang ninyo lahat ng mga corporations dito sa Pilipinas na nagpa-power tripping na lang. Ako kaya. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if they, if they considered it or not. It's more important that I voiced it out. At least nailabas ko. Ang, ano, tapos naman na yung interview. Eh, so it doesn't matter really kung ano. Hindi naman, hindi naman nila ako tatanggap, uh, tat, uh, what do you call this? Hindi naman nila ako tatanggalin porket nasabi ko lang yun. It's, <laughs> it's really different. Yan ang isa sa mga uh, pagkakaiba sa Upwork and Working Corporate, right? Uh, I mean, yes. Well, freelancing in general. Kasi in freelancing, you can just express yourself kung pwede mong sabihin na uh, hindi pwede sa akin yan dahil may, na, dahil may anak ako. Right? Pag sa corporate does interview, pag sasabihin mo yan, what do you think will they will they say? Mas prefer nila yung makakapag-commit ng time sa kanila, of course. Mm, pwede nilang isandla mo ang anak mo para sa kanila, no? <laughs> gusto nila, eh. Well, at least pretend to be like that. Yun ang gusto nila, eh, kahit na... Um, You just need to hit the right answers. You don't actually have to commit to it. Basta pag nasabi mo lang yung gusto nilang marinig, pasado ka, pasado ka na. And it sometimes masakit din sa loob yung ganun eh. Right? Because we, we meant to be honest. We meant to give our hearts to the company whom we are working for. Tapos mapipilitan kang magsinungaling dahil lang sa uh, gusto mong matanggap sa work nila. Isn't that right? Yes. Agreed. Yeah. So, uh, kung nasa corporate ka, are you working half and half? Um, I'm working full-time. 8 to 5 hmm. yung schedule ko. And then, freelancing at night. Oh, wow. Double, ano, double kara ka. Yes. <laughs> Dob- Double paid Dob- in every day. <laughs> <laughs> Double kara ka. That's so, that's so nice of you. Buti naman, ano, may energy ka pa. I, I like that you are able to manage that. Kahit na, ano, why, why are you sticking with working t- uh, with two, within two worlds? Um, As of now, I can't give up my corporate job yet. Mm. Kasi, um, Malaki yung unang naloob ko sa company ko ngayon. I just started actually last September. And yes, sobrang caring nila sa employees. I mm. just really wanted to have a part-time job. So I tried mm. this freelancing. Ah, I see. I see. Well, lucky lucky you na 
so far it seems it seems like you're doing great butinaman are you happy with where you are right now yes i'm actually enjoying kasi um apart from doing my um regular job yung mm. morning at least na divert ko yung attention ko with other things at night so what i'm doing is um eight since eight to five yung schedule ko i take a rest for mm. um two to three hours then start the freelancing until 12 midnight wow wow nakaka uh, nakakatulog ka pa niyan yes natatalo ko mga 12 to 6 or 12 to 7 okay. but still okay that's so nice i like that that's very good puti naman para marinig ng audiences natin and i hope that it will inspire them because It seems like sa ngayon, medyo marami kasi tayong iniisip kaya parang hindi natin alam kung paano natin i-handle ang pagiging freelancer at uh, working in corporate. Some people are still caught in between. And you're a very good example on a positive note. Kasi yung iba, parang they are caught in between because of some problems. Ikaw, you are caught in between because you just like it. Yes. I simply like it. And that's very good. I like that. kind of a uh, note when it comes to juggling between corporate and freelancing okay so we're at the time i know ready kana yes okay you have been ready since 30 <laughs> minutes ago an hour ago you have been ready already hindi ko na kailangan tanungin okay everybody welcome back to another episode of just success where we get to invite somebody to talk about their life their career their work and their success in freelancing today we have miss gladys here gladys cabrera who has been around for quite some time and she is going to talk to us today about how she booked three clients on Upwork after being rejected multiple times. Now, before we proceed to Ms. Gladys, uh, let me invite you everybody to please share this webcast to everybody. Share it on your wall and we are going to uh, and put shared on the comment section down below. Uh, admin paki post nga po yung ano yung yung gift ni ano ni Miss Gladys para mabasa ko and put uh, ladies and gentlemen share this video and put share it on the comment section down below and you will be receiving a gift from Miss Gladys herself I will be mentioning it later on pag once na nilabas po ng admin natin Mahar could you please do that or somebody now uh, before we uh, ano bago ko i Ibasahin ang mga pangalan po ninyo. Let us also know where you are viewing this from. I'd like to greet Miss Gladys a very short hi. Hi, tell us a little bit something about yourself, Miss Gladys. Okay, so good evening everyone. Um, so I'm a supply chain professional and I've been a corporate world for more than 10 years now. So I guess you can guess my age by now. <laughs> So basically, my jobs focus on um, procurement, inventory, and logistics. I have actually just finished my master's in supply chain last year. Wow. Yep. So yes, in my early years working in the corporate world, so I've become a big spender. As mm. in, sobrang magasas ako, which every millennial can relate. <laughs> mm -hmm. And yes, sa sobrang pagiging magasas ko, yung gusto kong bilhin, pag nakikita ko, I never thought twice. As in, swipe agad mm. ng card. And so, yon hindi ko na napapansin na na-max out ko na yung credit limit ko. Mm -hmm. So, that's where um the problem occurs. So, currently, yes, malaki yung kinikita ko sa corporate. Pero parang nagiging for payment na lang siya ng bills. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although I, I also have um investment kasi mayroon din naman akong binabayaran na house. Pero since nabupunta more on payment ng bills, hindi ako makapag-save for my house renovation. So mm -hmm. I was thinking I need a part-time job. And that led me to freelancing. 
Wow. Wow. I love that introduction. Thank you very much, Miss Gladia, for letting us uh, get to know you more. And I think marami talaga sa atin, hindi, hindi lang millennials, eh, pero marami rin talaga sa atin itong mga nakaka-relate po sa inyo kasi we are, yeah, at some point in our life, we were big spenders din. Eh. Basta pag nakatikim tayo ng pera, we think that we owe it to ourselves to just splurge. <laughs> And if the money keeps on coming, syempre pati rin tayo parang continuous na tayo nag splurge until, of course, uh, it takes a little bit of time for us to realize that we are not spending our money wisely. And sometimes, sa ibang mga tao, it's a little late. Dahil it's either you are indebted or uh, meron kang paggagasto sa nawala kang paghahagilapan ng pera. Yan ang... So we can relate to your past, Miss Gladys, and I'm really interested on how you cope up with this, especially that you mentioned here that you you got multiple rejections from Upwork as well. But before I give the microphone to you, Miss Gladys, batiin ko nga muna ang mga audiences natin since they are here. Miss Jocelyn Lim, hello po. Hello, Miss Charlotte. Uh, yes, Charlotte. Na binas ko ng diretsong pangalan mo, Charlotte. And hello, Miss Sherry Del Rosario. Hello, Mr. Miss John Ruvi Marsan, saying she's interested. Ito po si Miss Jenaline Marasigan Andaza. Hello, uh, Mr. Kaligam Sajili. Mr. Uh, Miss Juvel Laran. And Miss Raquel Alviar Surat. Hello, Miss Eve Manalo from Concepcion Tarlac. And may tumatalon na naman itong ano, stream yard na to. Hello, Miss Rhea Rogensia Elepano. Hello, Miss Lindy Kaubat Mating. Hello, Miss uh, Juvel Laran. Miss Jewel Liantos. Sino pa? Miss Linda Romo. Hello, Miss Odeline Kamayudo. And Miss Ever Gamboa. Miss Cheryl Pioray Balanday, Miss Steph Brio, Miss Romilyn Bravo Cruz, hello, hello, din po, and good afternoon, din po, and sino pa, Miss uh, Cherry Del Rosario, and Miss Karen Melba Sassis, Miss Tania Almoite Cayetano, Miss Steph Brio, nabati ko na po kayo, but Miss Raquel Alvier, ah, nabati ko na kayo. Miss Gracie Cantuba, Miss Maya Maramot, and last but not the least, Miss Grace Liwanag. Ayan, continuously share this webcast, everybody, and put uh, put shared on the comment section down below, and you will be receiving a PDF guide on how to get your dream freelance job. Now, pinakirapan po ito ni ano ni Miss Gladys, so just. Uh, Just share. All you have to do is share this video and put shared on the comment section down below, and you will be receiving this directly from via your PM. Share the interview and just put shared. And eto again, it's how to get your dream freelance job. I think this is a summary of her journey uh, in freelancing, and she is giving away her secrets on how she got through. Kaya kayo po mga nagtatanong ng mga how and interested, eto po. Eto po ang sagot po para sa inyo. So again, the instruction is simple. Just share this video on your wall and put share it on the comment section down below and you will be receiving this one. Ayan. Salamat. At, uh, sana po you will keep on sharing this video. Thank you very much, Miss Gladys. Now, let me put uh, give the microphone to you. So what is your story? Okay, so um, I knew about freelancing a few years ago. Actually, I've tried joining Upwork since 2017. So imagine how many years I got rejected. So many times I cannot count anymore. Um, so wow. every time, yes, I I went to the point na I want to quit my corporate job as well. And yes, binabalikan ko ang freelancing. Tinitingnan ko kung suswertohin ako. Pero nagtatry ako mag-submit wala talaga. As in, there comes a time na every day nagre-resubmit ako, pero every day din ako nakakatanggap ng rejection email from Upwork. So, yes, um, I tried other platforms, so online jobs. I got an online job as a freelance writer last year. 
However, due to the demands of my work, hindi ko siya na-pursue. Hmm. And yes, um, lumipat nga ako ng, ano, ng company. So, when this um, lockdown came, bumalik ako sa freelancing. Nag-try ako ulit. Um, actually, before I tried, um, I started watching LinkedIn learning videos. Kasi ako yung sobrang dami ng time sa bahay. Ako yung hindi mapapakali na walang ginagawa. And kailangan talaga makahanap ako ng pagkakaabalahan ko. So, bigla kong naisip yung sa virtual assistant training na shinare ng friend ko. Mm-hmm. So, yes, I sent him a PM asking for this VA bootcamp. So, and I want to learn how to become um, a virtual assistant so I can start uh, my freelance career. And then when he replied and gave me the link, I enrolled on the spot without thinking about anything. Sure, of course. Ano alit yan? Ang credit card na naman yun, so another mm. another payment na naman. But um, I didn't think about it as an expense, but rather an investment. Nice. Yes, because of course, when you are the one who invests in yourself, you never can be lost. Okay. Diba? That's so, that's so nice. Pero imagine na ah, um wh- bak- bakit wala kang hesitation? How come you trust uh, uh investing on the course despite the fact na lockdown na nga tapos tagipit pa tayo ng budget. So what what gave you the encouragement to do this? Um when I checked the website Aside from the money back guarantee, so I'm sure na hindi nyo pababayaan ng mga enrollees and students. And I have um, read the um, blogs as well as the reviews. So it's very positive. And actually, I know naman na I, uh, I have the knowledge, pero not on the freelancing world. So I yes I admit na hindi ako magaling doon although I know I'm good with my chosen field pero sa freelancing as in zero knowledge ako So I trusted the um V8 bootcamp to learn more about that Nice nice I like that um please go on with your story Okay so yes when I started um the course i was able to finish it after a week so after my shift um pinapanood ko siya as in 2 to 3 hours per day para matapos ko siya agad and after i finished the course i tried resubmitting my upwork profile with um all the certificate and um assignments so with mm-hmm. the portfolio finally i got approved <laughs> So, VA oh. bootcamp lang pala talaga yung makakatulong sa akin para makapasok sa Upwork. Nice. Congratulations. Buti naman. I'm so happy to hear that. Okay. Yes. That's why I also recommend this um, course to all my friends. Good. But, uh, uh-huh. yes, um, it was never easy. So, I started um, submitting proposals. And I eventually... Um, lose all my connects because it's just oh. um 20 yes 20 free connects uh-uh. lang upon acceptance so sobrang na excited akong mag-apply naubos ko siya agad Mm-mm. and um i received some interviews pero they didn't turn into contracts mm-hmm. um so yes i started buying more connects actually sobrang nakarami ako nung bili ng connect before ako ma <laughs> Mahir. As in, siguro, more or less, 1,000 pesos din yung nagastos ko sa Connex. But, wow. syempre, kung, kung titingnan mo naman na mag a ka sa iba, gagastos ka rin naman ng transportation, mm-hmm. the food, and then time mo pa. E dito, mag, bibili ka lang ng Connex, tapos mag a ka na lang at the comfort of your home. 1,000 pesos is not big. I mean, but if you are looking at the numbers, 1,000 pesos seems to be very big. Dahil feeling mo kasi itatapon mo yun. But you are very correct there. You know, pag mag-apply ka sa corporate, pamasahay pa lang, ubus na yung 1,000 mo na Uh-oh. yan. So yes, that's, that's, uh, that's very true. That's very true. Wow. Please, please go on. 
Okay, so um then I almost felt like a failure kasi nga bakit ganun na i-interview naman ako pero hindi ako na-hire. Parang hmm. it never happened to me in the corporate world. Ganun ako ka-confident na after interview, hmm. ma-hire ako. Pero not on the freelancing world. So it's uh, very different from the corporate. And, but I never give up. Actually, ang ginagawa ko every night before I, before I go to sleep, parang I always pray na sana pagising ko meron akong interview, ma-hire na ako. And then every hmm. morning, yun talaga yung uno kong ginagawa. Um, nagpipray muna ako before ko i-check yung cellphone ko. And then, two weeks after I joined, um, I got accepted in Upwork. So, one Sunday morning, I saw this message from one of the clients asking for a lot of stops. It's for inventory and catalog coordinator. So, syempre, na-excite ako kasi inline siya sa profession ko. Mm-hmm. And then, yes, he started... um asking about my experience and he decided to give me a test project. Okay. So, ang ginawa ko nakipag-bargain ako. So, I asked him if, um, so I told him I can give him half of my asking rate. So, I'm asking for $10 an hour. So, hmm. I told him I will give it to him at $5 per hour since it's only a test project and it's a win-win for us. Kasi I will have my first ever mm. contract in Upwork and he will pay less for a uh, mm. job done. So after two hours, I was able to um, give him the output. Yes, he was so happy with it. He immediately hired me for a full contract. And that starts nice. my Upwork um, career, freelance career in Upwork. Nice. Wow, that is so mm. good. I... Um... I am wondering, uh, forgive me for for uh, interrupting you here, but I am wondering, bakit hindi mo nilibre yung test project, yung, yeah, test project mo? Kasi I believe na you, sh- uh, you should not um, sell yourself um, short. Mm-hmm. But you yes, were desperate. Um, it's not that desperate to the point na you will give it for free. So, mm-hmm. um, for, for me kasi, I know I can do the job. I can mm-hmm. give it to you for a lesser price um, just to prove my value that, um, that I can do what you need. And then let's talk about the full rate after you like what I did. I, I love what you said just a while ago. Uh, I can do the job. Yan ang ano, yan ang isang nakakalibutan ng maraming mga marami sa mga freelancers natin eh. Yung when they get to desperate times, basta tatanggapin na lang nila kung kung anong ibibigay ng client and hindi na sila hindi parang si, nawawalan na sila ng self-worth kapag uh, yun nga, yung desperate times na sila. To you, you were already pay you already paid 1000 pesos for your connects. You were losing contracts here and there and yet uh, you didn't even you didn't consider yourself at a desperate time that time and you held uh, you held your head high and you still say I can do the job. That is so nice. But how were you able to keep yourself um, at that state, at that mindset? Um, I always think of my highest value. Because um, mm. what you will give your clients naman is your expertise. So do you really have to pay for it? I like that. Wow, that's a very good story. Thank you very much. Uh, please continue. Okay, so after that first um, client, two weeks after I joined Upwork, so nagsunod na, sunod, sunod na sila. After two days, I got another interview. So it's still uh, um, an inventory position. So mm-hmm. basically, it's um, inventory calculation every month end. So I'm pretty sure that I can um, get the job as well because it's um, what I'm doing currently and for four years now mm-hmm. so the yes the interview um took just less than five minutes i think so if you 
really know um your value if you really know um that you can do the job um let your client feel that they need to hire you that you can help them with their business so yes i got the second client in upwork after two days i got hired wow you were on a roll <laughs> You're on the roll. Um, uh, usually, ang kwento ng ano ng mga freelancers is once na nato na kuha nila yung ano yung first contract nila. Ang aantay naman nila is the first review, the first five stars. Ako yun mismo ang sinasabi ko sa sa mga kinokochan ko na uh, you just have to wait for the first five stars. Pagkatapos ng first five stars, mo dere dere chun ayon. But for you. By the time na nakuha mo yung first contract mo, sumulod naman na agad itong isa. Uh, was there anything you did significantly that made you gain two uh, clients consecutively? Um, I focus more on applying to jobs that I know I can do. Nice. Yes. Nice. So it's more on um, supply chain talaga siya. Mm-mm. Yes, I think that is the tone of what uh, what you're saying, your story. Dahil yun nga, uh, kanina pa na sinasabi mong uh, nasa linya mo yan. Sa corporate pa lang, nasa linya mo yan. So you are happy indulging to these uh, job proposals. Dahil yun ang, uh, kung ano ang expertise mo offline, yun din ang hinahanap mo online. Yes. Uh, has it been working for you since then? Yes, actually, uh, I'm enjoying both worlds. Mm -hmm. I'm doing each jobs every day. So, <clears throat> currently, that second client of mine, kaka one month lang namin last week, and Ooh. he promoted me to he promoted me to become his supply chain manager. Nice! Congratulations! Yes. Wow! Thank In just you. a month. <laughs> Oh, it's good. okay. Clearly, it shows that you are an expert of your field. Yun nga, yung katulad ng sabi mo kanina, you already know what you are doing. It's just about freelancing that seems to, na medyo nangangapangapa ka pa lang nung time na yun before you enrolling to VA Bootcamp. So, good. Good for you. Good for you. Um, What happens after this uh, second client? So, after this second client, a week after that, I'm also... Um, Excel expert, so I tried hmm. submitting proposals for that as well. And then this um, third client of mine, actually, I have applied, I think, a week ago before he sent me a message for an interview. And yes, we had um, a video call interview, and then I also got the job. It's my third client, and he's still mm -hmm. my client until now. Wow, sunod sunod ah. Yes, nice. sunod sunod siya in less than a month. Yes. Are are you happy with your first client? Yes, um although the job um um success um uh, ended successfully after a month as well. Mm -mm. I'm very thankful that he was the first to believe in me. Mm -mm -mm. So yes, yes. I I will always be grateful that um I had this first client of mine. Ma, um, karamihan kasi ng mga freelancers, medyo bittersweet ang relationship nila sa, sa first client nila. Eh. Karamihan sa mga freelancers, I mean to say. Kasi, uh, yun nga, first client, usually yung mga uh, mababa ang offer, medyo masusungit, pero nagpapasalamat pa rin ang mga freelancers dahil nandyan yung mga first clients nila. So they move on to the next client. Very fortunate for you that Sunod-sunod yung mga itong tatlong clients mo. First client mo, most, most importantly, maganda ang relationship mo and you enjoyed working with the person. Oh, wow. Um, there's a question here from Jeline Benitez. Gaano po ka-importante ang reviews for us freelancers? Care to answer okay. that? Yep. So, yung review yung magdedetermine kung ihahire ba kayo ng mga next na ina-applyan nyo. Yung mga clients kasi nag-check sila ng reviews kung maganda ba yung work mo, yung relationship mo with um with them, with the previous clients. So it's actually um the challenge kapag starting ka pa lang. Kasi wala kang reviews, wala kang previous clients, wala kang earnings. 
So challenge talaga yung pagkuha ng first client. Yes. I definitely agree. Importante ang review kasi tayo nga mismo pagbibili tayo sa online shopping, for example, tini, we, we definitely check. You're a fool if you don't check the reviews. Mga bumibili sa Shopee, Lazada, o shopping, whatever that may be, uh, lagi natin tinitignan kung ang user reviews, ang customer reviews. So they, say, they do the same thing with us freelancers. Kaya importanteng importante yung pinakaunang review natin. Kaya, kaya nga maraming ano eh, maraming mga kumakapit na sa patalim basta magkaroon ka lang ng five-star review, most especially sa Upwork. Now, where the, wh- what is it that you that you did? Um, Gladys, na para na maintain mo yung ano mo yung attitude mo within these three clients na ano na nakuha mo sila agad-agad. Um, so, communication, yes, it's the key. I always communicate with um, my clients. Um, I make sure na nagagawa ko kung ano yung mag- mga gusto nila. And if ever na hindi ko man siya matatapos, um, I always inform them. Actually, with my, um, with my three clients, nagka-problema ako sa time management. Kasi mm-hmm. having them all at the same time and all our hourly contracts. So, syempre hati yung oras ko sa kanila. Mm-hmm. And I've been, an, I've been honest with them. So, I told them that I can only do um, at least two hours with them every day. Uh, unfortunately, yung dalawang client ko, first and second, they both want me to work full time. Which I cannot do kasi meron din akong corporate job. So, I politely mm-hmm. declined and then um, told them that I can only commit this much. So, yes, Matan- they understand naman. Matanong ko nga, how did you... Because this is a, quite a challenge to many. But can you give us an example of how you politely declined? That is quite a challenge to many freelancers dahil... Uh, nahihirapan silang magsabi ng no. So, how were you able to say no? Um, so, with my second client, he's asking if I can um, leave my job and um, be, full-time, be, be a full-time employee with them. So, I hmm. told him that I'm so sorry, I cannot um, leave my corporate job as yet. But, um, yes, I can commit um, that I will be able to do what you need within the specified time. So if I need to work on weekends just to finish the task, I will. I don't, where did you learn to give that answer? I think um, I'm used to it because mm-hmm. I always, yes, I'm used to um, interviews. I'm a job hopper actually. Mm-hmm. So saying no is not that hard as long as um you can tell it in a nice way. I like that. And- that the, yes, you know what? That is um there, that is something that is quite difficult to teach the newbie freelancers saying no. Uh, marami nga sa atin itong ano itong nasa desperate times pa lang so we do not really know how to say no pag once na uh, nagkasubuan na nandiyan na tayo ang hirap na tagihan na ang ang client lalo na at nag offer sila ng mga full-time job just like yours i really like that you mentioned just yet because in a sense parang sinasabi mong may pag-asa pa you can maybe maybe in the future maybe sometime i will say yes but as of now uh, wag muna so it's not a hard no is, is that a strategy of yours when when turning down offers do you give a gentle no yes mm-hmm. so um i will also be able to maintain a uh, good feedback with the clients i like that yes that is uh wow 
dapat ano, dapat magturo ka ng ganyan on how to turn down clients, how to say no, how to say goodbye. Dapat magturo ka ng ganyan kasi it seems like you are in a, in a good position that you have enough experiences to teach and share what you have. Sa so, tingin ko pa lang sa uh, the way you answer even my questions, you are very eloquent and very highly skilled. Dapat maraming, I think marami sa mga audiences ang nag idolize sa'yo ngayon because of just this interview alone, how much more with your achievement that you have three clients. Sunod-sunod pa. Um, what else is out there after you got your third client? Okay, so aside from getting those clients and getting a five-star review as well from my first client, mm-hmm. so I think I'm building, um, I believe I'm building a good working relationship with my colleagues um, in my current um, freelance job. Actually, um, they are both Filipinos as well. So, hindi wow. siya mahirap pakisamahan, yes. Wow, that that's totally opposite from my experiences. I'm okay, I'm a solo flight because I really hate working with uh, Asians and most especially with uh, fellow Filipinos. That you know, medyo pabebe, masakit natin kasi itong pabebe. Eh. So how how are you able to manage this with your workmates, with your colleagues? Um, so for my second client, kasi kami yung tatlong Filipino. So, kung constant communication, kasi sila din yung nagtuturo sa akin on um, how the process works, how the business works as well. So, mm-hmm. I was able to learn with them. At the same time, help them to um, build a better process for inventory. I see. I see. So, the, it's really a relationship, not not more like a boss uh, employee kind of relationship it's a little bit more symbiotic am i correct am i correct with that yes um mm-hmm. though yung client I mean, is canadian but mm-hmm. um yes he's very nice he's very, very appreciative of his employees ikaw ba itong namili nitong client na ito or uh, did you just apply for something that you think you like did you screen this client yourself um nakita ko kasi yung job post niya about a um, month and inventory calculation so i've been doing this for years so i'm confident mm-hmm. na kaya ko din gawin yung task na yon and mm. yes i created the month and inventory report he was so happy with it so yes he then asked me if i can um, be his full-time employee. Actually, yun yung time na torn between clients ako. Kasi meron akong first client na gusto din akong kunin as full-time. Mm. De, siya yung nauna kong i-decline. So, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm as, I, I was about to ask him na kung since hindi ko na kayang mag-commit ng ganun ka daming time, baka, ma, baka mas kailangan yan ng US person. Kasi every uh, US kasi yung first client ko. So, baka kailangan niya ng US person who can commit um, his full time with the job. So, instead na i-end contract ako ni first client, um, he just asked me if I can do at least one to two hours. So, he limited my time with five hours a week. Mm-mm. O hindi niya in talaga. Binawasan na lang niya. Mm-mm. Ayaw kanyang bitawan, kumbaga. <laughs> Ayaw niya kong bitawan. <laughs> that is so good. That is so good. It means to say that you are doing your job well uh, as a freelancer. May tanong dito si Miss Lani Medina. Sabi niya, being a job hopper as you are, what platform can you recommend aside from Upwork? Um, Online jobs. Madami ding mga... Um, job post sa online jobs and hub stuff. Although, um, hindi ako pinalad sa hub stuff, konti lang kasi yung nakikita ko doon na inline sa profession ko. Mm. So, you really are more focused on um, your expertise, your yes. niche. Bakit ka ba adamant sa field of expertise mo uh, when it, here in freelancing most especially? 
Um, kasi since I'm more comfortable <clears throat> doing this um job, and I know mas mas makakapagbigay kasi ako ng magandang output kapag alam ko kung ano yung ginagawa ko. Mm-hmm. And hindi din naman nawawala yan sa business, even um out of the country. Um, yung mga clients sa uh, freelance, um, they are also needing supply chain specialist. Wow, wow. Believe ako sa'yo kasi um, from my previous interviews, some of them wanted to expand more, they, uh, they expand their expertise. Karamihan, uh, imbes, na i, na, imbes na hinahasa nila itong kaisa-isang uh, sandata nila, gum, kumuha sila ng ibang sandata. You know, that's what I mean by them expanding because in as we, yung mga kinuha mong mga kurso sa amin, we also teach you many skills. So were you not ever interested in on the other skills that we taught you? In the um, actually, Yes, I'm interested ako more mostly in bookkeeping and e-commerce. That's why I got the accelerated package. Mm-hmm. Currently, since nakatulong siya sobra, yung, lalo na yung e-commerce, although Shopify yung more on dinestas doon. Currently, I'm managing Amazon inventory. Mm-hmm. So, nag-upgrade pa rin ako ng skills. Nanonood ako ng mga videos about um, Amazon and Shopify. Kasi isa din yun sa niche na gusto kong e-pursue, so e-commerce. It's still related to what you are doing right now. Yep. So, yun yeah. nga, yung hinahasa mo itong kaisa-isang sandata mo. Is this what you recommend to um, to many freelancers? Would you recommend people to focus on just one particular niche and yun na lang ang hasain nila ng hasain ng hasain, just like you? Um, Not just one. So, maybe mm-hmm. at least um two or three niches mm-hmm. and yes kung ano yung alam mo na kaya mong gawin that you love what you do kasi sa akin i love supply chain kaya nagmasters din ako ng supply chain so in the, um aside from helping clients um with my expertise kung ano yung industry ng client ko ngayon yun yung inaaral ko and doon ako nag upgrade like just now um amazon so Currently, nag-aaral ako ng about sa Amazon and other mm-hmm. um, e-commerce platforms. So, yun I'm yung not... second niche ko, e-commerce. It is still very closely related to your to your main skill. And yeah, I, I really like that. And yan nga ang napansin ko eh. It's good that you mentioned it because I was going to ask you anyway about doing what you love. When did you discover that you love what you are doing right now? Um, nag working student kasi ako before, uh, way back in college. So, first job ko talaga is procurement. So, it started uh-huh. in supply chain. Hanggang sa after college, after graduation, yun pa rin yung naging work ko. So, hindi mm-hmm. na ako, hindi na ako nawala sa supply chain, kaya yun mm-hmm. na din yung minaster ko. And yes, I'm enjoying my field. So, kung mag-freelance ako, I better choose what I love to do. There you go. Oh, yan ang inaantay kung gusto kong sabihin mo. You better choose what you love to do because like I said, yeah, and dami nga namin ino-offer sa VA Bootcamp and yet, you really uh, para kang nag-tunnel vision sa ano mo eh, sa objective mo eh. The reason why you entered freelancing is because you nakita mong pwede mong i-apply itong itong field mo mismo and even the jobs that you are taking sa dami-dami na mga job uh, job offerings din talagang you filtered it out um see making sure that yung job requirement nila is something that you can definitely offer which is your field of expertise Oh wow, this is so this is so nice to hear from you. Uh, may mabalik ka tayo sa ano, sa booking three clients. Is there uh, did you ever notice if there is a common question that uh, these three clients asked? Um so with regards to the interview, um all they are asking is your related experience. What have you previously done? The, that's the same as what they need. So if you prove the clients na 
kaya kong gumawa ng ganito. Nagawa ko na yun before. And I can definitely do it for you as well. We will mm-hmm. hire you. Wow. Well, so that is the most standing uh, que- that is the standing out question. What is the most difficult question that the three asked of you? I think it's um if I hire you, what can you do to make this business grow? Did they really ask you that? Yes. Uso pa pala yung tanong na yan. <laughs> Uso pa pala. <laughs> akala, akala, ko nung, akala ko tapos na yan nung, way, nung year 2000 pa lang na yung tanong na yan. Really? They, they, meron, so they really... meron din kasing mga, yes, meron din kasing mga clients na they're looking for someone who has a real concern with the business. Mm-mm. And Mm-mm. that um, if they can see that you want to grow with them. Wow. I like that. Na, na, and then nagulat ako sa ano, nagulat ako sa sa tanong na yan because um I I think uh, we still do that. We still I think we still do that in VA bootcamp that we give exercises to students, yung mga sample questions that uh, clients could possibly ask of you and I think that is one of the most common question that is asked, what can you do? What can you offer to the business? Um, how should a how should a a uh, newbie freelancer answer that, uh, in your opinion, Gladys? Um, so for freelancers, maybe you can um offer your best service. So kung ano yung sa tingin yun na kaya yung contribute anything, even small, kapag nagtuloy-tuloy yan, it will make a big impact. Nice. I like that. Because um, although that is a very common question that is asked, but if you really dig down, uh, if you really dig deep, para ang hirap sagutin because pag uh, pag generic answer ang ibibigay mo, madaling ma detect yan ng client during the interview, especially at on the spot na na tinatanong yan. So a very good answer. Um. May ano ka, is, is there a way, that, uh, may nasabi ka kasi na, ano na, you have to let your client want you. Is there a way that you can do that during the interview? Or um, sh- so, will you only be able to do that during your uh, uh, contract already? During the interview, you can do that. Um, so what I did with my second client is, um, so I told him how I was able to compute for the inventory count. And I also offered him um, to make his um, inventory process um, a better one. Mm -hmm. So what I offered him is that aside from doing the inventory calculation, I can also um, monitor his inventory and audit the warehouse's counts. To ensure na hindi sila mawawala ng stocks. And that hit him. Wow. So, I was able to land the job as well. So, wow. offer your other services aside from um, what is asked of you. But, I don't know, you, you were tackling a specific problem that a business can encounter. So, you are giving them solutions. It's not just a random service that you're offering. It is a service that can actually help the business yes. being relevant. Wow. Now, uh, you, are, you seem to be very careful in answering, your, in, in answering questions. I like that. Yeah, I think... I, I think I agree with many audiences here. Sabi ni Mr. Uh, Del Rosario, gusto ko yan, how to turn down client na sa maayos na paraan. And this is all from your experience because not a lot of people can easily learn this on the spot. And may, may mga nagsasabing advantage din. Sabi ni Miss Jaylene, advantage din talaga ang madaming interviews na napagdaanan. And then... Uh, Cherry again said, "Kaya wag tayo matakot um, magpa-interview dapat." I like that. Yung and uh yeah, nasty here. Miss Eve Manalo says, "Experience makes you confident." Now, uh, you mentioned that you're a job hopper. How many times can a person uh hop on jobs before you can 
say that they are confident enough to tackle new avenues of uh, earning money, like freelancing? Um, so I think the best is three years. But for me, I never reached two years. So I'm really a job hopper. Wow. Why? Uh, you're a job hopper, but pero, uh, you still jump on the f your field, right? You're just trotting along around your field. Am I correct with that? Yes. Um, previously, kasi I'm more on purchasing for six mm -hmm. years. So, gusto kong ikotin yung supply chain. So, I applied for inventory. And then, I also tried handling logistics. So, inaikot ko na siya ng buko. Nice. Uh, it seems to me like you you plan to have your own enterprise. Is that so? Mm, yes. <laughs> I see. I see. I see. Yeah, but I can smell that from you because you are learning the works of everything, and you can never be a good boss if you do not know um, everything in, that is working around your business. Wow, that is so good. Young. How about here in freelancing? Are you going to job hop as well? Do you intend to you know, close your contracts sometime in the future? Uh, no, so for freelancing. Know. For freelancing, mm -hmm. I think it's the other way around. The longer you stay with your client, kasi in freelancing, mm -hmm. the better. Uh, mas mahirap maghanap ng um, new clients, especially if um, palagay na yung loob mo sa current client mo and nakabuild na kayo ng magandang relationship. So, it's better to stay with them. Nice. I, li I like that. Wow. Ang galing mo talaga sa... Ang galing mo talaga sa magot ng mga tanong. Uh, uh, Cherry, I'll again, uh, ask... Thank you very much, Cherry, for asking these interesting questions. Keep, it, keep them coming. Wala po bang negative effect ang pag-job hopper uh, sa freelancing, for example? I, I think you already answered it, this, but could you expound on this question? So, yung pagiging job hopper kasi sa freelancing, I don't think um, mapapansin siya ni um, future clients kasi they will all leave reviews and they will never know naman kung natapos talaga ba ng yung project or it was you who requested to end the contract. Mm. Kasi mostly naman ng freelance um, jobs range around three to six months. So, swerte na lang talaga kung makakakuha ka ng more than a year mm -mm. with the same client. Mm -mm. Nice, nice. I, wow. Ang, uh, so, dapat ilagay sa, sa utak na ganun. Most of, your client, most of your contracts will only last for three to six months. Uh, ganun ba yun? Kasi maraming mga freelancers gusto nila yung a-applyan nila lifetime na is that uh is that a wrong way of thinking in your opinion no for me actually mas maganda yon um hmm. the longer the better pero syempre um, just like what my first client um has experienced so medyo may downside yung business ngayon mm -mm. and um he has to end some contracts so it's not the fault of the freelancer that it happened with the business at least mabibigyan ka pa rin ng reviews and um, they were able to keep your uh, records in case they will need you again in the future. Nice. Nice. Yes, I like that. I, I like that. Yun nga yung, ladies and gentlemen, you, a lot of you are nervous about keeping your jobs and keep staying with the business. Always keep in mind that in many cases, it is not, uh, the contracts are ended not because of you. Kaya don't take it too personally. Business talaga yan. Businesses go up, business, businesses go down. So you, And you can never predict, especially during these times, you can never predict which business will rise and which business will fall. So yes, correct po si Miss Gladys. Don't take it too personally. Now let me go straight to uh, next week's episode. Miss Gladys, medyo magpahinga muna tayo ng konti. Uh, next week. We are going to talk to Miss Lemon Abigail Martez. And she will be talking about how a miracle baby, miracle baby and freelancing turned her life around. Hmm, I'm interested in this. Miracle baby. Um, that will be on June 10, 2020. That's next Wednesday at 4 p.m. Again, that's going to be an interview with Miss Lemon, Lemon Abigail Martez next week, Wednesday at 4 p.m. 
Also, nasa na yun? But, what happened to... Ben, lagi na akong pinapalpak sa ganito. <laughs> okay, there you go. Also, uh, next Saturday will be another webinar, another welcome webinar from Mr. Jason Dula, How to Start a Work from Home Career. I hope that you invite people to join us on Saturday, June 6, 2020 at 5 p.m. because we are going to give you some surprise gifts. Lahat ng mga mag attend sa webinar po na ito, there will be a surprise welcome gift to each and every one of you. So come and join us on June 6 at 5 p.m. for Jason Dulay's welcome Welcome webinar, How to Start a Work from Home Career. Pati kayong mga alam na ninyo kung ano, alam na ninyo at nakapag-start na kayo, it's still good to come and join us because it, who knows kung kayo rin itong next na magpropose ng ganito, right? And how you introduce this freelancing thing that people talk about to your friends as well. Invite people. Yan. And we keep, as uh, Miss Gladys mentioned, she took a course in VA Bootcamp. So go ahead and check it out at vabootcamp.ph slash enroll. Lifetime access na po yan ngayon. And maraming benefits po ang lifetime access. But just go and visit us in our website. You, We will be introducing the skills package as our beginner beginning package po. Ito na po ang pinakamababang budget natin na, na may offer namin. Pinakamababang uh, package na pwede namin i-offer sa inyo at the price of 3,990. These will all be comprised of step-by-step -step tutorials of email management, social media management, calendar management, website management, internet research, office applications, and transcription. As we say, just go to vabootcamp.ph slash enroll and Kung ito po ang kukunin ninyo, you will already have all the skills that you need. And after finishing this course, you can just go out and apply what you have learned already. And have self-confidence as Ms. Gladys said. Alam mo na kung anong dapat mong gawin. So you should be confident in applying for jobs. But if that is enough for you, we have our accelerated package which includes data entry. Transcription, email management, internet research, office application, social media management, schedule management, website updates, and e-commerce management. Ito po ang offer namin sa accelerated course, but we also add more coaching. And in this course, you will also be, when you finish this course, you will also be, uh, it'll be okay for you to join our a guided Hustle Challenge dito po magsisimula sa accelerated package namin. And to those of you who want to go, uh, take the maximum, which is our complete package, everything in accelerated and in skills package, plus search engine optimization, WordPress design, email marketing, content writing, bookkeeping, Facebook advertising, and even further than that, because we also include your... Uh, the masterclass, which is the Road to 100K course. Pero meron kaming preview po para sa inyo. If you're interested in that, you can take a look at our free course, which is five reasons why some freelancers earn 100K a month and others don't. And you can even go further. 100K, 200K, 300K, 400K, 500K, however K you want. Nandito po ang principles nila. Kaya go and take a look at it at vabootcamp.ph slash free 100K course. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah, that's a mouthful. <laughs> anyway, balik po tayo kay Miss Gladys. Are you all right, Miss Gladys? Yep. Okay. Then, kasi hindi ko hindi ko kayo makita kung habang nagbabasa ako ng advertisement. I don't know what's happening. Whether you are drinking or you left the table or whatnot. But yeah, um, let me ask you, Miss Gladys. Basing on your experience, what is the biggest thing that you can, biggest advice that you can give to newbies who are aspiring to become just like you, a job hopper who has a corporate job and doing freelancing on the side, wanted to succeed in gaining three clients just like you, to those who are idolizing you, what can you tell them? Uh, for me, I guess, um, just never stop learning. Even if you have already um, found your niche, um, you can always um, learn more para ma-improve. And yes, try the others kasi baka mamaya mas okay ka pala doon. Like, 
now I'm also studying e-commerce. So aside from supply chain, I'm trying to divert to another um, niche as well, just to add to the skills that I have now. And yes, don't give up. Ilang beses akong na reject sa Upwork, so I thought hindi siya para sa akin. Pero mas matindi yung urge ko na um, yes, maging debt-free mm-hmm. within this year, hopefully. And yes, can save up for my house. So I tried freelancing and this is it. Well, I like that you mentioned that you got disappointed and you fa- because you failed a couple of times. How many times were you disappointed? Like, uh, how many times did you go through the waves of up and down, up and down, getting disappointed and then still wanted to go, then getting disappointed, then still wanted to try it more? Countless times. I cannot remember. Hmm. As in, um, every time I um, get rejected, mm-hmm. So I'm thinking, okay, so it's not the right time. I've been trying last year before um, I job hop to another company again. So I thought I can um, do freelancing by that time. Mm-hmm. So I'm not lucky yet. And then actually this um, lockdown, I think of it as a blessing in disguise on my part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yes, I was able to focus on um earning and learning new skills and yes, the VA bootcamp as well. Nice, nice. You're looking at the silver lining. This is this is good. And no offense to everybody. Ah. Talagang pagpinsan naman kasi, we have to look at things on a different light because this lockdown could you know, people have lost their their jobs. But if you look at it on some other ways, it is uh a time for you to uh, they they gave you time for you to improve yourself uh, gain more skills and you know look for different ways of earning money and i i like that you miss gladys you said this is not the right time because to many people once they get disappointed they say this is not for me so, so how how come you have that kind of attitude of saying this is not the right time instead of saying this is not for me? Um, because I know that things happen for a reason. It's always mm. um positive attitude of mine. So if it didn't happen to me now, if I pursue it in the near future, I'm going to get it. So it's just a go-getter attitude. Mm. Wow, that is beautiful. I, I I love that attitude. Sana ganyan ng lahat. <laughs> I hope, ladies and gentlemen, that you are inspired by Miss Gladys, especially the way she approaches things, the way she answers questions, and the way she takes everything, whether it is a disappointment or encouragement. She still she still has this uh, attitude that is instead of bringing her down it's always lifting her up now as i promised miss gladys i'm going to give you the last few minutes if you want to take your time to say hi to everybody or if you want to advertise anything now is the time go okay so firstly i want to thank um yes sir phoenix and the uh, va bootcamp Sir Jason, Miss Anna, Miss Jane, and the other behind this um, the work from home roadmap. So because of you guys, I was able to um, learn new skills, um, learn about uh, freelancing more on the virtual assistant. Um, although hindi ko man siya na practice um, all, hmm. I have learned a lot and some I've been practicing now, especially the email management. And yes, e-commerce. So it's highly recommended. Actually, um, in encourage ka din yung mga friends ko, especially this time na no work, no pay. Most of mm-hmm. the employees, kasi hindi naman lahat ng business is um, okay ngayong lockdown. Although bumabalik na yung iba, but still, um, limited pa rin yung mga pumapasok. So I'm asking them to take this um, time, this opportunity to learn about um, freelancing. And great thanks to Elijah. He was the one who um, introduced me to VA Bootcamp. Yes, without a doubt, I enrolled on the spot. 
and his friend Alvin. Actually, they are um, my inspiration in freelancing because they are earning a lot. So I told myself, I ko din yun. And this, this, it's happening now. And I also want to um, greet my best friend, Sincha. I think she's watching. And my boyfriend, Cholo. That's ah, it. Awesome. I love that. Well, thank you very much for 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 greeting everybody. Yan, you, uh, yan, ha, huh? ladies and gentlemen, ha, huh? nag shout out na po si Miss Gladys. So to all of you, wag na po kayong magtampo dahil na ginawa na po ni Miss Gladys lahat lahat, and she remembered everybody. Now, um, Miss Gladys, are you open to people who want to approach you in any form, like on Messenger or something? Is there a way a, a way that we can contact you? Yes, you can um, contact me on my Facebook. Actually, I'm joining the FB groups. Mm -hmm. So as a way of giving back, it's, a, a, it's really a blessing, the freelancing for me. Um, so sumasagot ako ng mga comments doon kapag merong mga nagpo-post about um, freelancing, mga questions nila sa Upwork. Sumasagot talaga ako and sometimes they send me a personal message. I even um, have friends that I don't mm -hmm. know because of um, these FB groups. So you can mm -hmm. always um, ask me in the messenger. I'm willing uh, to help as a way of giving back. There you go. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Narinig nyo na po. Galing kay Ms. Gladys po yan. But please, 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 respect her time dahil marami na nga siyang ginagawa off, offline. Marami pa siyang ginagawa online. And <laughs> so if you're going to approach her, please just uh, do not expect too much na na sasagot siya agad-agad para sa inyo. Ano? We all have uh, a proper time to answer questions. But I do encourage you, ladies and gentlemen, to send her some uh, thankful messages if if you have it. Kung na-inspire po kayo sa, sa webcast na ito, do let her know because we took a lot of her time just to tell her her story. Ayan po. So thank you very much, Miss Gladys. Is there anything you want to add before we close this program? Not at all. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you very much, Miss Gladys. And thank you very much, everybody. Hope to... Ayan, may, may humabol. Uh, continuously share this uh, video if you want to. And then put share it on the comment section down below para makahabol po kayo sa free gift po ni, ano, ni, ni Miss Gladys. Again, thank you very much. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you. Yeah. And...